what is going on guys in this episode we are going to talk about the sorting systems in the collection and various sorting methods in this channel called bitfumes with me sarthak and i will pray for your good health so that you can learn things easily here and let's start this video and here i have all the collections of the users so if i simply return users and try to see that on the browser yep we can see we have all the 50 users or 51 users in this so that's nice but now i'm going to show you some cool things so just suppose i just want to sort it by so we have a method called sort by i'm so going to sort it by name so yeah it's super easy sort by name but if you go to chrome refresh this page nothing's going to happen because we have to get the values so we just have to say arrow values and then it will going to work surely and you can see the first one is starting with n second is starting with r but if i refresh it yes it is first started with a a and obviously alphabetical order of the name so this is super easy and very nice to have but you know sometimes you doesn't want to have starting from the alphabetical order or in an ascending order you just want it to be in descending order so what you do yes you can pass it like this does it work let's see refresh no it's not going to work because behind the scene what sort by is doing sort by is actually getting the callback then option and descending which is always as false so you can uh, you can just give a third parameter so let's say i will give here and i will say true so descending is now i have given true so refresh and yes you can see now we have the names starting with the w and u then t then s my name okay <laughs> okay so this is very nice but you know passing all these things just for doing the decreasing order is not a very good idea so what we can do or what actually laravel has done with these things is that we have a new uh, function or method called sort by desc or sort by decreasing order so if i now go and refresh yes you can see we are getting the same result as the previous but without uh, passing various kinds of uh, confusing options parameters so behind the scene what it doing yeah it's again calling the sort by what we have done before it is calling sort by but okay so it's raining here and you can probably hear the magical sound of the rain nevertheless sort by decrease uh, method is actually calling the sort by and making the third parameter as true what we have done exactly in the previous example like this so it is same exactly and giving the result which is here but it is so handy and easy to remember so this is why we have two different method but suppose i only want the first one so there is a method called first so if i say first users then first i'm getting only one result for which, which is the first one but now what i can see here the keys which is id name email are not sorted actually they are just as we have provided in our database table or in the migration so why not sort these things by key so yes we have another function which is called sort and key and actually keys and this is going to work and boom <laughs> it's not going to work you know why because when we have called the first method like this you can see it's not a collection it's just a single item it's not a collection of the item so if i do this and i will say collect and then i will say sort keys and now you can see it is now sorted by the key name which is having created at c first then e then i and this is good so yes you can use sort by and in that case you need to have that value to get 
its actual values and this is super important while using the sort by so if you have liked this episode please go and subscribe to this channel if you have not already subscribed and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram because here level knowledge never ends and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye